dear Bitcoin enthusiasts, welcome back to Bitcoin Guru. It has been forever since I made a uh, video, so this is going to be more, more of a recap of all of the notes and events worth mentioning anywhere from June to August. So what a wonderful time. I'm pretty sure most people are not on the same page, but um, this is another example of why perspective is key and is the only thing that makes us different is the lenses that we see life through so the lenses that I see life through is what I'm gonna explain today in this uh, in this update but um, first and foremost let's let's go over everything worth mentioning of course as you guys know Bitcoin Guru is supposed to be your Bitcoin go-to completely completely out of the should you say the goodness of my heart I just want to spread the word about the world's first anonymous and untraceable cryptocurrency this project is extraordinary and this is why I'm here uh, guys in my free time I um, I collect data and I work on Bitcoin projects to to share so for everyone who thinks that I'm over here trying to sell Bitcoin, I'm not. I don't care if anybody else is purchases. In fact, my dear friends, I love it when you guys sell Bitcoin because I'm buying it for lower. Money is a means of exchange. Okay, so it does not matter what the cost is. It matters what you think the value is. I know Bitcoin is valuable so before we go into any of this do your own research please do not go by what I say because there's only one thing that I could say I guess do not go by what I say well what I try to do is I try to give enough information to intrigue you and incentivize you to do your own research and then benefit from your research so not a financial advisor but I definitely have some awesome things to share so let's get to it news and updates uh, we're gonna go over a couple of them we're also going to be talking about some scam stuff okay so stay tuned for that now uh, starting back in June these these are only the events that are I guess worth truly mentioning uh, Bitcoin got listed on coin deal exchange the more exchanges the more exposure the most the more exposure the more difference Bitcoin gets to make around the world so that's huge June 28th 10 days later um, there was a post that was made on coin telegraph is where I first saw it and I definitely want to share that with you guys On July 4th, um, Bitcoin got listed on OKX exchange. Another one. So this is nothing but great news. You, you want to see more partnerships. You want to see more co collaborations. You want to see more listings. This is great because this is implementation. This is innovation. July 23rd. An extra, like, I get dizzy every time I <laughs> think about this the high load resistance update the reason why so many people were talking smack about Bitcoin when they when it was complete user error on their part everything that happened on Binance is nothing to be surprised about absolutely nothing um, I don't know how I can say this more uh, Bitcoin is much younger than Bitcoin. Bitcoin has a much smaller uh, following base than Bitcoin. Bi Bitcoin is on the rise, okay? So before the Binance listing, it did not have all of the updates in place. So when things like that happen and millions of people jump on the opportunity to purchase the world's first anonymous and untraceable cryptocurrency there's so much 
load on the system and on the servers, I can completely understand why it's down. Now, why anybody would purchase it at $2? Uh, I can give you a billion reasons why anybody would purchase Bitcoin for two dollars but I can also give you a billion reasons why they should not be upset when the price goes down to a penny again it's understanding what happens during that type of big events in any uh, in cryptocurrency in particular in all markets in in general when you have big news you have big f influx of action price action and the high load resistance update that happened on uh, July 23rd I'm extremely excited about this is a um, update of the these are crucial updates to the system I don't care if the price goes to one Satoshi as long as I have the high load resistance update and that in a way uh, guarantees that that will never happen again I'm a okay price versus value the price went down the value skyrocketed updated web wallet I cannot emphasize how important it is for companies and cryptocurrencies to keep their web wallets updated their desktop wallets updated their currency updated their security and everything updated and we're seeing a lot of work from the developers as we have mentioned previously my dear friends their team is not that big their team if I remember correctly consisted of four full-time C++ developers and some other um, developers that they're in close contact with so for a currency that helps millions and millions of people and there's probably let's say 10 developers you know I don't know I've worked in plenty of places when where much less had to be done by many more people so amazing amazing changes and we have to give credit when credit is due a lot of people like to just speculate and the speculators are just speculating so when you're just speculating you shouldn't just talk so much just speculate man just speculate and if you're speculating so much and you feel so passionate about it find out what the reason is most people just like to bash something without understanding well web wallets many many things that need to be updated another one updated desktop wallet four days afterwards so updates and updates and updates are coming more improvements on the actual foundation of Bitcoin and this is uh this is great and of course not too long ago two days ago Jenny Goldberg actually had a interview a podcast interview which I am absolutely going to cover because it is crucial uh, so, uh, as far as scam, let's take a look. I this is this is crazy. In a world full of information, and information readily available, it's very important that we see through the correct information. Some of the things that we just need to stay away from or just be cautious about. Um, the Bitcoin official bot in a telegram I haven't had any personal um, interaction with them I have probably been scam messaged by them previously I haven't noticed because I don't check scam um, but it was brought up by the official Bitcoin Twitter so I wanted to point that out to you guys if you guys are in contact with them just know whatever they're saying is not credible per official BCN Bitcoin dash online dot com another one per official BCN this is another one to stay away from 
I haven't taken a look at it personally. I, you know what? If you tell me it's scam, and I see 500 people say it's scam, you know what? There's too many things out there for me to worry about possible scam. Because the very next one, I have a personal story to tell you. Bitcoin fans, recently, and I personally have shared links for these guys to fund their amazing project of creating a physical Bitcoin token, which was fantastic. It was a great idea. It is a great idea. I'm still excited to get it in the mail. But when you actually go to their website, the website is down. When you try to reach them on Twitter, there's no response. I've tried to contact them on Kickstarter, yet no response. So I'm not saying that they are a scam, although I've put them in, the, in that category. But when someone doesn't respond to me, and I see that they do not respond to multiple others, and that their website is down, and that they're not following with roadmap checkpoints and milestones, I start to get skeptical. So I want to warn you 